Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nikhil. And in this video, we are going to be creating a parallax effect in Adobe XD. And you can use this effect to animate the website designs or any graphics that you're using in your designs pretty nicely, like you see over here on the screen. Now, in this example, I've used an image as the subject of the parallax animation. I found this image online and it is completely free of any copyright infringements. So I don't have to worry about those. We're going to be creating this effect from start to finish in Adobe XD. So you don't have to use or require a subscription to any other photo editing software such as Photoshop, uh, etc. to make this parallax effect. And I'm going to be using this effect in a website design um, for the hero section, as you can see over here for a website or an application that promotes and provides therapy sessions and meditation sessions online. Obviously, this is just an example. Do hit the like button and show some love. Share this video with your network so more people can benefit and learn this example. Create this animation completely in Adobe XD. And do consider subscribing as it gives me motivation to create more such beautiful videos for you. So let's get started. So I'm in Adobe XD and I have this artboard created, which is of the dimensions 1920 by 1080 pixels. It's the standard web um, artboard. So I'm going to be starting with importing an image from Finder or Explorer or any image that you have on your computer. You can simply drag and drop that image as well, or you can actually go into the file to import that image into the design. Once I import that image, I'm going to be resizing it and I'm not going to basically fit that image perfectly in the artboard. I want that image to be a bit larger. I'm going to center that image, zoom in on the artboard. The first step that I'm going to do is you can see that I have the image named as background layer in the, um, in the layers panel. I'm going to duplicate it and create a copy of itself by pressing command or control D. So we have two images. It's the same image. I just have two copies of it. I'm not going to use the one copy um, from the bottom one. I'm going to work with the one on the top. And from the tools section on the right, uh, left hand side over here, uh, we're going to start by using the pen tool. You can use the shortcut P. What we need to do with the pen tool is basically trace the top of the uh, the mountain over here which is the foreground or if you're using any other image try to uh, differentiate a foreground and a background so if you can see that this is going to be my subject this is the background so find an image that has a clear subject and a definitive background so it will be easy to create parallax animations so with this example this mountain in the front is going to be my subject. So I'm going to zoom in and start tracing this mountain. So you can see that as soon as I start clicking over here, uh, the image is basically gone. So you don't have to worry about that. Just start clicking and create an approximate uh, trace of the subject boundaries. So if at times you see that you need to curve it, just press and hold to create a curve in that pen tool. Once you cover the left to right section or the main area of the subject, all you then need to do is basically complete the shape. So I'm going to scroll down and then by holding shift, you can make sure that you're basically creating a vertical line with the pen tool. And I want to go to the left end of the image. So I'm going to press and hold the space key and just pan around with the image until I reach the left hand side. So I'm still using the pen tool. I'm going to press shift. So now my pen tool or the line that I'm creating is constrained to 45 degree increments. It's either horizontal, diagonal or vertical. So I'm going to click once I've created that shape. And now I'm simply going to complete the shape that I create. So once you complete the shape, 
um, the cursor will change again back to the selection tool now i can click on this selection and i can move this pen tool to make any refinements if i want once you're happy you need to come in over here actually you can zoom out first to see um, the entire shape so that's the entire shape that we created um, i can actually go back in and make some refinements uh, to make it almost perfect you don't have to be 100 percent perfect with this uh, so try to be almost perfect um, but once you're satisfied give that shape a fill doesn't matter what color you give this shape because we are going to use this shape as a mask now i do recommend you to watch my previous video about masking and how you can actually take advantage of masking in your designs so do check those videos out i'm going to include the link for that video in the description down below as well so with this shape selected i'm going to select one of the copies of the image that we created right so with both of them selected i'm going to right click um, make sure that the mask or the shape with the red color the path that we created is on the top now with both of these selected right click and select this option mask with shape so if i hide the other image in the background all i have is this image or this section of that image so this is going to be the foreground um like i said in the beginning you don't have to use any photo editing software to actually create parallax animations you can use this method by using just one single image which has both a subject and a background and you're good to go so we created a mask I'm going to show that image again so now this mask or this foreground is completely different or separate from this image in the background so i can basically move over move around with like this and it's going to move around as well this is a completely separate section so i've got two copies i'm going to use this one as my subject and this uh, image or the original image that we started with as the background let me just go back a couple steps right so now this is going to or this artboard or this state is going to be my initial state what i'm going to do is now with this artboard selected again press command d create a duplicate so coming on to the second artboard you can press command or control v to actually zoom into that artboard the shortcut you can use and i use all the time what i'm going to do is select the foreground and enlarge the foreground but i'm going to enlarge it in place that is by holding alt and shift so you see if i'm holding alt and shift it's going to resize around the center of that layer if i release the alt button you can see that it's going to resize um, around or about one of its corners so pressing alt actually helps this case so just enlarge it ever so slightly so you get the uh, feel that the subject is actually closing in on you and the same way i'm going to select the background image press alt and shift and resize it make it smaller so if i'm using this uh, image or the parallax animation in website i want to have some header and some call to action or for the hero section of my website so i'm going to quickly select the text tool and with that selected i'm going to type in breathe i'm going to change the font color to white now the font that i have selected is sf pro rounded but you can choose any font you want i'm going to set the size of this one to 100 and place it in the middle of the artboard or where i like it to be now i'm going to quickly create the header section with the name of the website and a few links up top over here sometimes i like using the grid layout so i can basically 
align some of my layers accordingly just because the image that I've selected has a brighter background where the menu is going to show up I'm going to use a rectangle shape as a gradient behind the menu item so now the menu items are readable select all of them including the background group them by pressing command or control G and name it as header the text or the huge text over here in the middle I'm going to place it behind the foreground and place it so it's readable and at the same time some part of it is hidden behind the foreground and that actually creates that visual parallax effect let me add some descriptive text I'm going to be using some lorem ipsum text using a plugin that is good and I'm going to quickly create a call to action button as well there you go and with both of those selected group them rename it to action select the description along with that button and group them the differences between the two artboards are the headers the breathe text that is included in the parallax animation and the value proposition text so um, it's super important that you actually have these layers or these items on the first artboard as well so i'm going to be selecting all of these items from the layer panel copy them select the artboard and paste it so all of that will be placing in place basically now you can rearrange the layers here's the fun part now to begin and to create that animated effect we're going to move stuff around so in the initial state of the artboard i want to have the header section i'm going to uh, basically leave it as is but i'm going to move this text behind the foreground mountain right and then reduce the opacity to zero i'm going to do the same thing with this one as well the value proposition text but I'm not going to move it all the way out of the artboard I'm going to keep it over here within the artboard and reduce the opacity to zero as well now you see if I zoom out completely the differences are the text the value proposition text and the resizing of the foreground and and this is honestly all you need to basically create that parallax effect I'm going to save the progress and quickly go to the prototype tab select the entire artboard over here create an interaction i can keep a tap trigger or i can also change the trigger to keys and gamepad um, it is totally up to you i'm going to use the down arrow and this is the important part select the auto animate option as the type of the trigger and that's why i mentioned in the beginning that the layers the arrangement of the layers and the name of the layers are super important for the auto animate animation i'm going to keep the duration of this animation to two seconds and this is all you need if you are actually creating um, a website but for this example i want to go back from the second artboard to the initial state as well and i'm going to give this the top arrow key as the trigger let me create a flow again save the progress and here is the moment of truth when i press the down arrow i see that nice animation the text actually coming out of from the from behind the mountain and i also see the mountains actually resizing so uh, if you notice and focus on the foreground mountain it's actually coming closer and at the same time the background is going away and that is essentially the parallax effect so the user can then click on get started and move ahead with the website and the experience of meditation and i think this effect can be used in multiple ways um, in different design applications so if you like what you saw please hit the like button and show some love and do share this video with your network so more people can start using parallax effect in their designs and this is completely in adobe xd from start to finish all you need is a good image with 
a clear cut foreground and a background also consider subscribing to my channel as it motivates me to create more such videos for you thank you so much for watching